Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Kim Enchantress here to do your weekly reading from the 9th to the 15th of uh, 2020, November. Now, um, as I was um, shuffling your cards here, Virgo, I felt the energies were about young love or something to do with a high school sweetheart this week. Now, this is going back to when you were teenagers. I feel like there's some sort of new business with this person um, and possibly that you've had a secret crush on this person in high school and you and this person are about to embark on something um, like an affair of some kind. Now with the Enchanted or Norman cards is the basis of the reading. I'm using these from the um, from Caitlin Matthews and Virginia Lee. I do have uh, three bonus messages here from Spirit for you and I'll be using one card from the Crystal Deck to, for more um, energies for you. So we'll get on with the reading. Now, the focus here is the star, which is your wish is coming true. This is uh, about dreams and following your guidance. We have the child, which is about new beginnings, taking small steps. It could be a, a physical child. We have the book, which is about learning knowledge secrets. We have the heart, which is definitely about love and passion. We have the tower, which could represent... Uh, government body it could represent um, loneliness, separation, um, the hierarchy, or reflecting. It is the past life card. So we'll get on with the reading. Uh, also, we've got the dog. It's friends, loyalty. We've got the key, which is um, about finding solutions. It's the divine destiny, success. It is the yes card if you've got a question. And we've got the fish, which is money abundance. Go with the flow. So what I'm getting from this reading is there's some sort of significant new beginning coming for you. I do feel like, um, Virgo, you're going to receive some important information here. And um, it's going to be guidance with a star here. Um... It's going to be very important guidance with the star. Now, this will be a big secret for you, Virgo. And you're going to be able to open your heart this week. Because you've got the heart. And the star and the tower. Get them in view. Definitely, um, you'll open your heart to this person this week. And you have to know here, um, Virgo, it is your soulmate. That is returning in your life. Now you will have a lot of protection here from spirit. This week. So that's a beautiful message coming through for you guys. Now I do feel like this is someone from your childhood. Um, Virgo that you've been dreaming about for a little while now. You used to possibly do some homework with this child. And I do feel like um, there's some sort of positive secret. Or you're going to reveal something to somebody in the near future. Now, you are looking for love, Virgo. You're definitely going to fall in love again. I do feel like um, you've been lonely, possibly single, or you're separated from someone, so you've been lonely. It is the underlying issue. And I do feel like this is an old love that's coming back into your life. And you have full uh, loving desires for this person. You've been thinking about them a lot lately, dreaming about them thinking about them so that's that's beautiful um someone returning in your life now with the dog spirit message from uh, the chanted Lenormand cards we've got the dog the key and the fish i do feel like this friend is very important to you this is a message from spirit it is a significant friendship and this will become a business partner for, for some of you or a deep deep love uh, I do feel like you're embarking on some successful business together. Uh, it's going to be a, bu a business venture that's um, going to be very successful. And you're going to open your heart to this person here again, Virgo. If you didn't in the past, you will open your heart to them now. So let's go on to the crystal cards. In the crystal deck, I'm going to pull one card to see if there's any more messages, any more energies going on for Virgo this week, please, Spirit. And while I'm shuffling here, Virgo, I'm going to put a link below to my shop on Facebook. 
Um, I am making these um, treasure boxes. You can put your crystals in. Uh, they make good presents for Christmas. You can put your soaps in them, jewelry, whatever you choose to put in them. Um, they're very reasonably priced. So I'll put the link below for you guys. Now we have the Unikite, which is um, available from your crystal or new age stores. So this is about expressing yourself this week. Releasing anything from the past that no longer serves you. And making some decisions here. <coughs> so let's see why it's fallen out for you. Now drawing this card today indicates that what is underlying a situation will soon be revealed. Exactly like I said, there's still something to come through with the um, secrets of the book. Uh, once the cause is recognised, release and healing will start to begin. So um, whatever the problem was back in the past that you had with this person, you're going to heal from that situation. Now, for the healing side of things, the unicorn is useful for the circular G system. I said that word uh, okay I'm not sure so your blood flow and the heart it sustains steady recovery and aids in recuperation so it helps with pregnancy and other regenerative process within the body now the three key materials of this stone combine to enhance the role in uncovering what holds us dissolving the blocks and raising our self-esteem it helps to unify the emotional, mental and spiritual aspects of the self and brings a necessary clarity for making firm decisions. So it's called uh, Manipura. It also um, helps to open and clear the solar plexus, chakra, the Manipura, which stores our emotions and used in conjunction with... Um, Pranayama, which is a yoga breathing, it enables us to identify and release past traumas. Now, it doesn't work in a rush. It sustains a gentle, steady release of um, feelings and encourages us to express them in a healing and helpful manner. So definitely about expressing your feelings to this person. Now, I feel like it lifts the energy from the solar plexus to the heart chakra which is the Anahata, and it frees us to uh, live and love more honestly and happily. So it can be used for scrying, past life regression, and uncovering the deeper causes of disease and illness. So this is uh, about healing this week, and it seems to be for a lot of the um, sun signs, but you definitely um, are going to express your feelings here this week, Virgo. So that's beautiful, someone coming back into your life from a past that you've been dreaming about and pretty much go with the flow, Spirit is um, working behind the scenes for this for you. So love and blessings, bye for now.